Okay, so I'm back with um, video number two. Um, we're going to call this one Violet. Um, and I've done this in a similar way to the previous ones. Uh, it's fabric over cardstock. I have put some um, sort of canvasy fabric over the spine on this one just to cover the stitching and a pretty purple piece of sari silk. Uh, this one I haven't dangled out the bottom, but there are quite a few charms on the side of this one, um, on quite a few tabs. Uh, it's Luna Rosu inspired. Um, I'm not really, I, I, Sheena's a beautiful, I absolutely love her journals. They're more grungy than mine. I, um, everything turns out neater when I do it, so that's just me. Um, so this is my sort of neat, shabby, <laughs> neat, shabby, chic um, type of journal. Again, it's um, Traveller's Notebook size, approximately um, four and a half by eight and a half, slightly under that, I think. Um, yeah, four and three eighths. And this way it's, oh, it is eight and a half. So around about um, with these, I'm, I'm not too exact. And I've used that... Um, cigarette card album to put the picture on the front. Some little buttons on here and some um, scrunched up seam binding. So inside it's a little bit stiffer because I've got that fabric on the spine but we've got um, collage and a pocket. Um, I've put the envelope over the front in a similar way to Sheena does. Um, I made that into a pocket. This is also a pocket, but it's really hard to get anything in there. So um, the way I would use that if it was my journal was um, if I wrote something I didn't want anybody to see, I'd um, fold it up small and just tuck it away in there. Um, I've used um, this. This is uh, from India. It's come from India to um, 36 Elgin Road. This I've added collage and I've used um, a vintage stamp from India that I had and the same on the back here. I've just added a little bit of collage and another stamp um, just to tone in the colours. So I've got a library card and a 1973 cheque in there. Cancelled cheque, it's only for 52 pence. Uh, 1973, so that was just after the UK went decimal. Um, but I liked, again, I like the way the colours um, mixed with that. In this one, we've got uh, Mrs. Cog image, a postcard of Great Yarmouth. That's a seaside town on the east coast of the UK. Um, I think it's the 1940s, but I wouldn't be sure about that. And this is... Um, some kind of receipt from 1906. So those pop in there. Molly's sat up looking out of the window now. <laughs> Not sure what's going on. Not much. Uh, this is a belly band. And I've put a um, photograph in here. It's a printout of a photograph, so it's not brilliant quality. Um, it's actually my grandmother in a very beautiful dress with her um, niece. And this is an old receipt that's not been used, French receipt. Hmm. Just a little bit tight that one, I'll put some... Okay. Um, I've got a pocket here. A snippet tab with a little purple dragonfly on there. This um, was together in the original book. So this is naturally aged um, glassine to protect this image. Really beautiful. And again, natural aging there. This is from a book. And in this, I've got a little scrap of that... Um, document that I use and some page or half a page from an 1893 magazine and that's about embroidery. 
This is from 1915. Um, Portsmouth, which is another seaside town, but on the south coast of the UK. And it's from Thompson, who was a gentleman's hatter. Um, I popped a ribbon up here on this children's book page. I've used that document again and made um, a lace pocket. And in there, there's a um, book page from an old Alice in Wonderland book and a letter dated 1864. I haven't actually read that, so I hope it's, hope it's appropriate. <laughs> and we've just matched the purples and the pinks. There's a little bit of um, punched flowers down the bottom here and some brads. Again, in this pocket, I've added a um, time card bit more of that or a sib no it's different an embroidery pattern vintage embroidery pattern and then we've got a um, vintage playing card and a vintage cigarette card this is from an old encyclopedia some seam binding this is a stamp area paper I've got some piano roll paper which I've doubled up to make into a page and in the centre, I've got Edith Holden. So piano roll. Um, this is from uh, another invoice. I think this is the 1960s. This is a company that used to um, trade out of a town close to me. This is my porch prints. And this is from an old magazine. Housekeeper's Dictionary of Facts. It's telling you how to move heavy, box, heavy boxes, how to make homemade scouring powder, how to wash your feather pillows. And then on back there's um, a little bit about cookery. <laughs> so you might find that interesting. It's the other side of the stamp area paper. Um, Got a fabric flip here. This is not vintage, this is vintage. Got some more um, snippet roll with a little butterfly. Uh, an alterations tag, that's a printout. Um, I think it's Tracy Fox. And this is an original document. I don't know if we've got the date on there but it's obviously pretty old. Um, some quite interesting writing. There's another little bit of um, seam binding down here. Fabric pocket. This is a fold out but I've made um, a fabric pocket on the fold out. So we've got a receipt. Uh, this is a printout. I printed it on fine paper, but it is a printout. And this is from Medieval Mirage. I suspect I had that sitting on my desk and it matched. So it popped in there. It's a seahorse. These journals are quite eclectic. I like seahorses, so I add those quite often. Um, this is the other side of that page from the old um, gardening book. So this is naturally aged, um, but I had to fold it. And when I folded it, it cracked a little bit. So I have strengthened that with a little bit of washi tape. Um, you could always cut that off if you want to. It's a bit more of that glassine. This is ledger. Uh, in this little pocket here, I've popped um, just a straightforward image from a flower fairy book, a vintage flower fairy book, and a cabinet card, an original cabinet card. It's in there, a bit more of that um, seam binding, a little bit more fabric tab and a little heart. Uh, the envelope I've glued down here to strengthen everything. And in the back pocket, there's another original postcard uh, no stamp um, and no date, 
but it's to Master Kenneth Doughty in Hull. And it says, Dear Kenny, hope you've had a nice holiday. Did you meet this little chap? I think that says it's Seaton. Love from Auntie M. <laughs> so that's journal number two. Um, Violet. Thank you.